What is poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers and I've been getting this question a lot on my Snapchat. Go ahead and follow me if you haven't already. And it is, are you still intermittent fasting? What's going on? Are you, do you do it every single day? Are you not doing it? Well, uh, before we get into that, let me just explain a little bit more about intermittent fasting if you don't know what it is. It's basically where you take 18 hours and you don't eat or 16 hours and you don't eat and then you eat for the rest of that time throughout the day. So if it is 16 hours, you're gonna eat eight hours and that's your window and some of the benefits are it's supposed to increase testosterone, human growth hormone, uh, it's going to have a great effect on your oxidative stress, uh, cellular repair, so it's supposed to help it as a natural anti-inflammatory and just help you in general to make you feel better throughout the day and more aware and all these different things. Sorry for this truck if you hear that, it's super loud out here. but. Um, with intermittent fasting, it is great. It's, it's awesome for people. It doesn't work for everyone. And that's what I tell anybody that takes a suggestion from what I tell them, it doesn't work for everyone. So if you are someone you're saying, oh, this is, this is what I have to do, mom. This is what I have to do, dad. Or uh, you're telling your coworker, your significant other that this is what you have to do because this is the only way. That's not the truth. The truth of the matter is if you're eating correctly, if you're intaking the macros that you need to see growth, muscle growth, or to get leaner, or to build a V-cut, or whatever you need, then you will get the results you want. And it's not going to be uh, any uh, magical pill, it's not gonna be magical plan for you, uh, just something that works exactly from whatever you learn, and, and you put it together, and, and then you get the results from it, right? So now to the question that everyone's been asking me, I am not intermittent fasting. Some days I do, technically, or generally, I am not though, because uh, I ran through a, a few problems when trying to fast over a long period of time. So if you didn't know, I did it for about, I would say, a year, um, and I was doing it pretty consistently. Every single day, maybe one, once or twice a week, I would might take a day off just because I was going out for breakfast with friends and all these different things. But generally, I was intermittent fasting consistently. And what I started to learn was that it's very hard with my self-control whenever I'm coming and approaching all the way past that fast period and going into my first meal to not eat anything bad. And what happened was I wasn't eating the best that I wanted to, right? And and it's it's something that you might say, practice what you preach, Brendan, or practice what you, you know, I understand that that's completely fair to say, but it is very hard to do everything according to the exact plan that you set forth when you have so many other things going on. And this is where it comes down to, is the plan or is intermittent fasting for you? For me, at this time, at a point in my life, it's not for me, right? Because not only am I going to try and find something not as healthy because I am away, I'm at my office, I am filming in West Hollywood, I'm filming in San Diego, I'm in Washington DC, I'm in Florida. It's a lot harder to find specific foods and again you might say, oh well Brendan you need to find a way. Yes that's absolutely true but I find a lot better fitting plan for me is waking up making a nice breakfast that is very, very healthy, having my healthy fats in there, everything that I need, my proteins, my carbs, making sure I know exactly what I'm consuming right there and then, and then go off to work, have another meal about after lunchtime, which I've already prepared in the morning, and then something late at night for dinner. So that right there, it has been a lot more fitting for me. I'm still getting my macros. I'm leaner than I have been in a very, very long time. I'm feeling great. My awareness is there. I have the energy. And this is all stuff that I was seeing with intermittent fasting as well when I first started. But it just happened where, you know, I got more busy, I got more busy, more busy. And yes, intermittent fasting is great for those who wanna just say, hey, uh, I don't want to worry about cooking or anything for those hours but you gotta remember, you still have to get your calories in. So having one or two meals, you still gotta cook all of those foods if you want it to be healthy. So that was my biggest issue, and the self-control thing, maybe I shouldn't call it self-control, because 
I do have self-control, it's just a matter of fitting it into my schedule. If I'm really, really far away, I need to grab something and it has to be like a fast food area and that's all they really have in that area. So uh, things that I would do if I did have to get fast food is I would try and find a grilled chicken sandwich, kind of remove the bun because I know how much how crappy they are and put like a lettuce wrap around it and it was just extremely tough. I started falling into a just a, a deep hole of not getting enough calories each day. I was under eating, which is definitely not something that you want. It can have a huge effect on all of your hormones, your leptin, your testosterone, your cortisol levels, uh, your thyroid. If you're not eating enough, it can affect you in a lot, a lot of negative ways. So when I moved back to this way, it, it, it's just been a lot better and that's a recommendation for you. Uh, try intermittent fasting, it's great, it's fantastic, um, but also it's not the best for everyone and that's the way we kind of structure our custom meal plans is that hey, if you are want to intermittent fast, go ahead and take all the foods that we give you and do it in that time period and that's just it. Make sure you find something that's good for you. For me, intermittent fasting right now in my life isn't the best. I'm not gonna follow it as much. I'm gonna be eating throughout the day. So uh, that's all I wanted to discuss today. Um, if you are curious about how much you should be eating, when you should be eating, all these different things, we do have customized meal plans in the description. And also, if you're kind of confused with your workouts, with intermittent fasting, I'm just gonna give you a quick suggestion. I, when I was doing intermittent fasting, this is where I felt really, really good at the beginning and I, I was building a lot of size, I was building a lot of muscle, lean muscle. I would be training about an hour before my fast would let up and sometimes I would even, right when I woke up, just work out and train really, really hard. And that way, I got my workout out of the way and I completely debunked the myth of, hey, you gotta eat within 30 minutes after your training. That's not the case, you just need calories in your diet whenever you do train or you need more calories throughout your day. So try it one hour before you're done with your fast and then hit it and you'll see great, great results. So hopefully all this information helped you and guided you towards the physique that you want. Remember, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I need some more video ideas in the comment section just to produce for you. I have a huge repertoire of things that I wanna go through, but I would rather you guys like a certain comment in the, in, the, in the actual comment box so I could be like, you know what, this is what they want, this is what I'm gonna produce for them. I also have a free V-Cut plan that is coming out absolutely free. It's a course, seven days. Uh, I'll let you know when that will be releasing, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, give me some love, show me some love. Follow me on Snapchat, it's in the description. All these things are, and also workout programs in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. All right.